Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon. A scary scene at the Kentucky State Fair over the weekend. Details straight ahead. Plus a guilty plea expected today in connection to the Breonna Taylor case. Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon starts now. Does it? I guess it does. Here we are. I'm shook, are y'all? This is crazy. What has happened? (laughs) Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for being with us today for Good Morning Kentucky. I'm Haley Harmon, and you are? I'm not. You're not. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. I'm Lee Cruz. Now, here's the thing. We're going to go see our buddy, Dylan Godet. He's standing by over at the uh, Weather Center. Good good morning there, Dylan. How are you, buddy? Yeah, doing great. Good morning to you guys. (laughs) What's going on weather? Happy today. to have you. There's actually not a whole lot going on weather-wise today, so that is some good news. There. Good. Well, thanks for that, then. We yeah. won't Thank hear any so more much. from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will we? okay, As I good. say, it's kind of a boring forecast, which is, <laughs> which is a good thing for sure. Let's take a live look at Mount Sterling on our Bluegrass Care Navigator Skyview. Not a whole lot of concerns on that morning commute. Again, could be seeing a few patchy areas of fog, though. Uh, we were down to a quarter mile visibility in Lexington earlier this morning, right now sitting at 10 miles Uh, So that's some good news there. As you head down towards Monticello, also less than 10-mile visibility. If you notice towards central Kentucky, seeing a little bit more of that fog right now. But expect that to actually increase in coverage area throughout your morning. Temperatures currently low to mid-60s, a few upper 60s out there. 68 in Moorhead, 67 here in Lexington, and 68 in Frankfort. Max HC radar and satellite. We did see some storms moving through overnight in the far southern Kentucky, but right now most areas are dry. May see a stray storm today. Temperatures going to be warming up into the low 80s. We'll have details on the rest of the workweek forecast coming up straight ahead. Dylan, sounds good. Thanks so much. Let's get to your headlines this morning. Kentucky State Police are now releasing more information on the scary scene that took place at the State Fair in Midway over the weekend. Police say they've arrested nine people so far in connection to an incident that forced the fair to close early on Saturday night. Our Shakira Hawkins joins us in studio now with more details on what happened. Shakira. Thanks, guys. State police telling our Louisville affiliate, WHAS, they received shots of a disturbance in front of the fairgrounds around 920 on Saturday night. The preliminary investigation found that a group of people caused panic after the fair w- after a fair with noise-making devices caused others to believe shots were fired. This led officials to do a soft close out of caution. Investigators say they found an- no evidence of weapons being discharged during the incident, but said the investigation was ongoing. Going. In total, nine people have been arrested in connection to Saturday night's incident. Three adults and six minors among the arrest, with all of them being from Jefferson County. Their charges include disorderly conduct, menacing, possession of a stolen property, and possession of a handgun. The president and CEO of Kentucky Venues, David Beck, said the state fair board will continue to work closely with law enforcement as the investigation continues. Operation did return to normal on Sunday, and that will continue throughout the rest of the week. For ABC 36 News, I'm Shakira Hawkins. Okay, Shakira, thanks so much. A former Kentucky police detective intends to plead guilty today to a civil rights charge stemming from the botched drug raid that led to Breonna Taylor's deadly shooting in 2020. That's according to the AP. Former Louisville detective Kelly Goodlett is set to appear before a federal judge later today to enter her plea. The Courier-Journal reporting Goodlett will plead guilty to one count of conspiring to violate Taylor's civil rights for helping falsify an affidavit for the police search of her apartment. This comes just a few days after Sergeant Kyle Meany, who was one of the two other officers charged by the U.S. Department of Justice earlier this month, was terminated from the Louisville Metro Police Department. Mercer County school communities are mourning the loss of one of its students. The district posting to Facebook Sunday morning says they are deeply saddened by the passing of 8th grader Griffin Baker, a student and baseball player at King Middle School in Harrodsburg. The school says Baker passed away due to injuries suffered in an ATV accident. Berea Community Schools have postponed the start of the new semester by almost a week due to COVID-19 concerns within the community. The district announcing the classes will finally start up this morning after it pushed back its original August 18th start date due to rising COVID-19 levels in Madison County. Superintendent Diane Hatchett in a statement released by the school said that the school did not have enough healthy staff ready for the August 18th start date. The district will make up for the missed days on November 21st and 22nd, which were originally planned as staff work days. 
Local radio legend Carl Shannon was known for putting on car shows for charity. On Sunday, Shannon's legacy was on full display as the community came together, remembering him through one of the things he loved most. Carl Shannon's voice ruled the radio stations for more than 40 years. He was also Waveland's Santa Claus and loved putting on car shows. He supported a lot of the events that the local car shows would do. So when he passed away in June at the age of 68, his annual car show at Waveland was left without an organizer. To honor him, his friends stepped up. So we're honoring Carl. This show is in memory of him. This is his last car show. Good friend Terry Malin says Carl was planning to step away this year from his annual car show. On Sunday, the tradition continued as people brought their classics out, all to raise money for the Friends of Waveland, a charity that was near to Shannon's heart. Each entry gets uh, a dash plaque. It's a little piece of memorabilia that they can put on the dash of their car. Uh, it lets, uh, reminds them that they were a part of this event. Malin says he believes Carl was watching over them. We miss him. Uh, he's still in our hearts and he's a big part of the community, so his memory will live on for a long time. In Lexington, Justin Walker, ABC 36 News. We love that guy. That's not an overstatement to call him a legend in yeah. any way, shape, or form. He was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, today begins Commerce Lexington's week-long celebration of local small businesses. And there's a new deli in town that all began with one man's love for the Kentucky Wildcats. Yeah, it's called Big Blue Deli, and it's located on North Limestone. It opened its doors just two weeks ago after its owner, Zach Wright, tells us he noticed a need for lunch spots downtown. And best parts, the deli is decorated literally wall-to-wall -wall with UK memorabilia. I'm a huge UK fan. Uh, I, I've been all over this world and watched Cats games in Asia. I've watched them. We well, watched one in Ireland. Uh, there's not much I want to do to make sure I can watch the Cats. I'd say that's true for most people in this area. This is awesome. Uh, we're going to tell you more about the new Lexington Lunch Spot's unique owner and all about the restaurant and the importance of small business within our communities. ABC 36's Annie Brown is going to join us live with more on this story in about 20 minutes. All right, time now is 5.07. Coming up on Good Morning Kentucky with me and Haley. <laughs> A new approach to stopping homelessness in Lexington. We're going to tell you all about it and why it's the first of its kind. And a few storms will be possible for your day today. Overall, quiet conditions and slightly warmer conditions on the way for the rest of the week. Those details coming up right after this break. I'm Jeff Picoro. I'm Chris Bolton. And I'm Sarah Cardona. You'll be seeing a lot of us on ABC 36 News. At your local games. And those big games we wait for all year. We're fans first, but reporting is what we do best. We report Central Kentucky sports from the high school games to the biggest moments in sports across Kentucky. Tune in and see all the exciting changes on ABC 36. Attention foodies. With this fusion of prime rib steak, melted provolone, and other magical melty stuff, Arby's is now officially a fusion restaurant. Chef Smooch, Arby's, we have the meat. Summer is ending, but the savings are endless at Bob's Discount Furniture. And this Labor Day weekend, we're having a summer send-off celebration at all Bob's locations near you and all 164 stores coast to coast with 16 new stores this year alone. So come celebrate with my new 60-month financing option. Incredible values on living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, mattresses, and more. And entertainment and yummy treats for the kiddos. It's gonna be great! Great indeed, Balloon Bob. So come celebrate Bob's coast-to-coast -coast growth. The sun never sets on savings with Bob's Discount. Every 40 seconds, a kid is reported missing. Find the Children provides educational material that teaches your kids how to recognize and avoid predators. Our recovery programs are very successful in bringing kids back home to their family. You can help protect our kids and bring the missing kids home safe by donating your unwanted car, truck, SUV, or van. Running or not, we guarantee you will receive the maximum tax deduction. We provide fast free pickup, usually within 24 hours. Over 2,000 kids are reported missing every day. Call now to donate your vehicle. Donate now to bring these kids home safe. Call 800-919-6011, 800-919-6011. 
800-919-6011. Lowe's has what you need to protect and brighten your home. With exterior stains by Cabot and paint from HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams. Save at Lowe's today. This portion of ABC 36 News is brought to you in part by the Kentucky Lottery, providing over $4 billion in grants and scholarships. Good morning, Kentucky. Meteorologist Dylan Goday here with your weather headlines on this Monday morning. We could see a few areas of uh, patchy fog this morning, especially into the valleys of southern and eastern Kentucky. We'll eventually see a few storms developing by this afternoon. I think the rain chances, though, are looking lower for today than what they did a couple days ago. Uh, so that is some good news, and that's going to signal a, a drier and warmer Next, really four to five days lasting through the end of the week. We will start to see those storm chances increase, though, once you head into the weekend. Uh, but for now, we're likely going to stay a little drier past today. Visibility out there, we are dealing with a few areas of fog, and I think some of the locations are reporting a little bit uh, less fog than what we're actually seeing because this is a live look in Richmond, and you can barely see uh, the lights there in the distance due to that patchy fog this morning. So make sure you are taking it slow on that morning commute. Give yourself a few extra minutes, and remember those low beam headlights uh, when you do head out the door uh, for your Monday morning commute. Currently sitting at 66 degrees in Richmond with a light westerly wind at six miles per hour. Areas in the southern Kentucky, we've got the low 70s, Somerset and the London Corbin areas as well. 68 in Lexington, Frankfurt, same goes for Moorhead. A cool spot this morning, and that's Richmond there at 66, and likely the areas with the cooler temperatures, that's where we're seeing the fog to start your day. Max issue radar and satellite, most areas are clearing on out. Now far southeastern Kentucky, some rain showers out there early this morning. We saw some stronger storms move through overnight for say the Lake Cumberland region that eventually is now moved off towards the south and the east and really not gonna be much of a concern for your day today. Seeing some heavy showers and thunderstorms into West Virginia, likely some flash flooding overnight there, but look towards the west and uh, with that westerly flow, we've got some drier air that will be in place, especially heading into later portions of the week. Now today could see some stray showers and thunderstorms. Most areas will be staying dry. Humidity not going to be much of a factor today either. As you head into the overnight tonight, that's where we'll see a few areas of patchy fog developing by the time your Tuesday morning rolls around. And then by the time the afternoon uh, there on Tuesday, we're going to actually see some very nice conditions. Temperatures into the low 80s, feeling comfortable as well. It's not going to be very hot and humid, which is some good news there as well. For your Monday, 82, a few storms possible with a northwesterly wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, stray storm early, giving way to some patchy fog. Lows going to be falling into the low 60s. A few areas into the 50s may also be possible. Conditions over the next seven days. Notice Tuesday through Friday, we're staying mainly dry. Just a few clouds, too. So really not a bad work week forecast here for sure. Maybe so, we'll take it. Yeah. So, Dylan, you're telling me uh -huh. you are here at this time every morning. Yes. Are you all right? The I am. I am okay. Right are now. you? Okay? Are you starting your day or ending your night? What is I this? I am starting my day. Surprisingly, I was gone all weekend. I saw so. that. I, yeah, follow Dylan on social media if you don't. Yes. You had some experiences this weekend. Yeah, I uh, fed a baby cow this morning. So did so. Lee. Yeah, but that's a whole nother kind of story. Right, you sure, know, about sure. Dylan, I, now, we yeah. are just so excited to be here with you, Dylan, and you do yes. such a great job. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. And always be watching Dylan and follow yes. him on social media for all your weather names. That's right. That's We're right. about to be best friends whether you want to be or not. And the baby cow. Yeah, yeah. And I can show that's that true, a lot of good content. content. Leave that in the parking lot if you would, Dylan. Here's a uh, <laughs> look at your morning traffic report. This is Georgetown Road and Citation Boulevard. Be aware, as Dylan said, it is a little foggy out there this morning. Take your time. Yes, no accidents, though, to be reported right now, but of course we'll keep you up to date. Stay with us here on Good Morning Kentucky. All right, um, it was a big weekend. Uh, we're going to have more in just a moment. Excuse me. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Like so many, we are proud to call Kentucky our home and have been heartbroken by the devastating floods in eastern Kentucky. For those who want to donate to help flood victims, there are many ways to get involved. So much needs to be done. Let's come together for a stronger Kentucky. Attention. 
If you've been classified as a high-risk driver due to DUI, DWI, or tickets for aggressive driving and are required to get expensive and hard-to-find SR22 auto insurance, then you must listen to this message because Serenity can help. We're the largest insurance company in the U.S., specializing in SR22 auto insurance and focused on serving the needs of customers classified by the state as high-risk drivers. We help people get back on their feet by providing easy-to-get, low-cost SR22 insurance that anyone can afford. If you need SR22 auto insurance or if you have it now and are paying too much, you need to call us today for your free quote at 800-410-4947. Our specialists are standing by waiting for your call. We understand people make mistakes, and we're here to help by making SR22 insurance easy to get and affordable for everyone. The call and quote are free. Call us now at 800-410-4947. That's 800-410-4947. Again, 800-410-4947. Admit it. These days, what you need to know seems to change just about every day. What is it that you really want to know, need to know? To help you not just get through your day, but to make the most of it. Feel smarter. Feel better. Feel happier. Well, how about a third hour of Good Morning America in the afternoon? GMA 3, what you need to know. Lunchtime at 1 Eastern, 12 Central and Pacific on ABC. It's all about you. We're all, as a world, going through something right now. Gotta get a real soon. It's been challenging. We got but you know what? Keep marching on. Good morning, sunshine. A challenge we face today, a brighter tomorrow. Watch ABC 36 every Friday night for Chief Meteorologist T.T. Shuck's Bowtie Friday Forecast. Brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shock. Return, refresh, refuel. Welcome back to Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon. Big weekend for the Recovery Cafe here in Lexington. The nonprofit launched a new initiative aimed at providing case management for people struggling with homelessness. That's right. Our Justin Walker was at the event and has more for us this morning on what's being done to help the unhoused within our communities. One year ago Friday, Chastity Griffin lost her sister to an overdose. She says both of them have been through homelessness. When she passed away, I decided to bring something more to our community and wanted to bring a passion of housing because she struggled with housing. Now working on her doctorate, Griffin wanted a way to honor her sister. That's when Kate's Place was born. Kate's Place is basically bringing individualized, targeted case management to our community, which means we're not working at homeless itself. We're looking at the individual. The initiative launching Saturday at a homeless awareness rally. Kate's Place will be an extension of Lexington's Recovery Cafe, a nonprofit that works to help the city's homeless community and those who are in recovery from addictions. It's always very, very important, one, to break the stigma with mental illness, um, substance use disorders, and homelessness. Um, The more people feel loved, accepted, and have purpose within the community, the healthier the community will be. Organizers say Kate's Place will focus on people in recovery who need extra support for housing. It'll provide services that contribute to stability and mobility. We're not here to force recovery on someone or to judge. We're here to empower people on their recovery journey. For Griffin, it's a way to remember her sister while giving love to those who are in those same shoes. But here, there is no stigma. There is no judgment. It's an inclusive environment, and we love absolutely everyone that walks through those doors. For more information about Kate's Place, click on this story on our website, WTVQ.com. In Lexington, Justin Walker, ABC 36 News. Amazing organization. All right, it is uh, just shy of 519 on this Monday morning. We'll have a look at today's top headlines coming up for you in just a little bit. But first, we got sports coming up. Stick around. Good morning, Kentucky, with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon. We'll be right back. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Free samples? Like free samples. Yum. Joy. Thank you. Free samples. Mm. We get it. That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Grab one for my sister, too. (laughs) Injured? Thanks. Call Morgan & Morgan. Forthepeople.com. Hello again. You don't know me.
Take a look at these age spots. They seem to vanish right before your eyes. Oh, my God. If you want to see blemishes seem to disappear in seconds for a flawless complexion, you can't get this look with regular old-fashioned makeup. So to get results like this and look years younger instantly, we have big news. At Luminous, we've taken our airbrush and now made it so easy for every day. Introducing Breeze, our all-new cordless handheld 2-in-1 airbrush system that applies makeup and skin care faster and easier than anything you've ever tried before. Putting the drops in. Just hit the button real simple. Mm -hmm. It's so wow. easy. It knows exactly where it needs to blend and where it needs to go. The makeup you're using can look dry and cakey and can make your skin look rough. But with Breeze, you can go from this to this. The secret is how our premium foundations blend onto the skin with an ultra-fine mist using the power of air. Very little foundation is needed. Up to 10 times less makeup compared to what you're using. But you're also getting three times more coverage at the same time. That's maximum coverage using less makeup. It's clear. Traditional makeup can make you look older, while Breeze is specially designed for maturing skin, helping it to look smooth and so much younger. It's your anti-aging, moisturizing primer, concealer, and foundation. All in one simple step. And with so many shades, we give you a color match guarantee. So you're guaranteed the perfect shade that's just right for you. We're so confident you're going to love our all-new, best-ever 2-in-1 handheld airbrush system. We give you a full 30-day money-back guarantee. Call or go online and use this special promo code right now so you can get Breeze. Our all-new handheld 2-in-1 airbrush to try at home for only $19.95. And you'll even get free shipping. There is a new and exciting way to look dramatic dramatically younger with Breeze. Luminous is not available in stores. You can only get this exclusive offer here. So don't wait. Order your new cordless handheld Breeze now. Call 800-329-0846 or go to getbreeze.com. Order now. Coming off a 10-win season and a Citrus Bowl victory, Kentucky football enters the season ranked in the preseason AP poll for the first time in over 40 years. The Cats are ranked 20th in the AP and 21st in the coaches. But it's not about where you are before the season starts. It's all about where you finish. Head coach Mark Stoops is excited about the recognition UK is receiving, but is focused on where they stand come January. Again, I've said this many times when we weren't ranked. Let, let's, I'd rather see where we're at at the end of the year, right? And that's still the same. I want to be ranked much higher than we are right now at the end of the season. So it is what it is. I have no control over that stuff. And uh, I like this team. I like the focus they have. Um, we need to do some things better. We'll challenge them. We'll work on that. But overall, I like their mindset. One player who is expected to play a big part in Kentucky's success this season is Virginia Tech transfer wide receiver Tavion Robinson. Another Robinson transferred to UK, and things worked out for him. I'm talking about Wandale, who left Nebraska to join the Cats and went on to set the program's single-season receiving yards record last season. Besides the two sharing the same last name, they also share some similarities on the field. Both are extremely football smart. I mean, Wandale, we could put him in any position at any play, and he'd know what he's doing, and Tavion's the same way. And we've been able to do a lot of great things with him by putting him at Z, putting him at F, just moving him around, trying different things with him. And he just gets it. And that's where I think they're most similar is just their football IQ and uh, their ability to be kind of moved around like a chess piece within the offense um, and get them into positions where, where we want them to be. On Saturday, former UK hoop star and Philadelphia 76ers guard Tyrese Maxey put on a free basketball camp for kids ages 7 to 12 in Lexington at the Joe Craft Center, where he passed along advice on how to be a great player. Now, Maxey went on to talk about how important camps like this were to him as a kid. It meant a lot to me because I was able to go to a few NBA camps like this when I was younger. I was able to go to the um, LaMarcus Aldridge camp, and then I also was able to go to the Chris Boss camp. So um, to be able to come to this camp free, I wanted it to be like somewhere where everybody could come. Uh, no one had, had any, no limitations. It was just the first 200 or however many people that we uh, invited, I mean, that, we, that signed up. I wanted it to be anybody, no matter what the background was. And I wanted uh, a fair opportunity for everybody. The Cincinnati Bengals dropped to 0-2 in the preseason. The Giants win 25-22. Former Wildcat Wando Robinson had three catches in the game, but for a loss of three yards. We have one more week left until we officially kick off the season. It's a Super Bowl rematch on Saturday. The Bengals play the Rams to end the preseason. 
That wraps things up for sports. I'm Chris Bolton. Kentucky has a long and storied sports history, and for once, we're not talking about horse racing or basketball. We'll throw the spotlight on just a few examples tied to artifacts here at the Kentucky Historical Society. Well, we can't begin a conversation about Kentucky sports without thinking about Muhammad Ali. Uh, Muhammad Ali, I think, represents how Kentucky sports elevates itself beyond that of just the, the exploits and the, and the successes that they have in their, in their respective sport. Muhammad Ali is born in Louisville, 1942. Uh, he's actually named Cassius Clay after his father, who himself was named after the 19th century abolitionist. So what a wonderful connection to make to the passion and career of Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali has lots of successes in the ring. He has six Golden Glove championships in Kentucky. He's a national Golden Glove winner. He's an Olympic gold medalist. He shocks Sonny Liston at the age of 22 in his first of three world heavyweight championships. But Ali goes on to use this fame for a much larger story and passion. Uh, he's outspoken about uh, civil rights and his worldwide leadership in civil rights is probably what we remember him most. So obviously, Muhammad Ali is a Kentucky sports legend, a Kentucky treasure, and we have some of his items here at the Kentucky Historical Society. We have his white boxing robe and gloves, and the robe is embroidered with Muhammad Ali uh, stitched into the side of the robe. So while the Ali robe is one of the most iconic items that we have in our collection, sometimes history is also being told by other items. Uh, for example, we have the boxing robe of Bill Caskey, who serves in the Navy and comes back after his service and actually trains in the same boxing gym in Louisville that, that was with Muhammad Ali. Did they spar together? We don't know. They were in different weight classes, but we do know that, that Bill Caskey and Muhammad Ali were training together. We have many Kentucky sports legend uh, items here at the Kentucky Historical Society. For example, we have the SEC Memorial Coliseum basketball floor where Rupp's teams would have played upon. Uh, we also have Olympic gold medals uh, from, from Kentuckians who participated in the Olympics. Uh, many items that you have to come down here to the Kentucky Historical Society to take it all in. To learn more about these Kentucky sports artifacts, visit us online at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfurt, I'm Doug High. I'm Mandy Williamson, host of mom to mom As a mom, we just want our kids to get along. We would love for our kids to be helpful around the house. And we want our kids to eat healthy. Basically, we want to manage the chaos and still make time for ourselves. But momming is hard, so I'm here to share some great tips with you to make it easier. So join me each week for Mom to Mom. <laughs> Brought to you by Hits 106.3. Did you just toot on me? <laughs> Frustrated with heavy rubber hoses that always get tangled and easily kink? Introducing the Bionic Flex Pro Hose, the super strong, super tough hose that's ultra light as well. Run over an ordinary hose and it'll easily burst. But the Bionic Flex Pro Hose stays intact no matter what runs over it. Because its reinforced drag-resistant commercial-grade outer polyester weave makes it tougher and stronger than ever. And its solid brass fittings are crush-proof, too. Ordinary hoses kink easily and stop working. But the Bionic Flex Pro Hose never kinks. It just keeps blowing strong. And while regular hoses easily get tangled, the Bionic Flex Pro Hose is tangle-proof. You can get the 25-foot Bionic Flex Pro Hose for just $19.95 with free shipping. But wait, order today and we'll upgrade your order to a 50-foot Bionic Flex Pro Hose. Just pay a separate fee and shipping is still free. Go now. Call 1-800-340-5128. Lowe's has what you need to protect and brighten your home. With exterior stains by Cabot and paint from HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams. Save at Lowe's today. I tell my mom, when I grow up, I want to work at Chick-fil-A. I posted to social media, and we found it. We reached out to Brianna to bring him in to be my little buddy for the morning. He was super excited. He said yes. I think there was a happy dance. <laughs> I showed him what a day in the life of a Chick-fil-A employee looks like. Spending the day at 
Chick-fil-A with a dream comes true for Aww. me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> a haunted cornet, a Hatfield rifle, a coffin-covered quilt. Discover the stories behind these artifacts and many more on Kentucky History Treasures. Sundays at 11 p.m. and Mondays during Good Day Kentucky, only on ABC 36. On Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon. A scary scene at the Kentucky State Fair over the weekend. Details straight ahead. Plus, a guilty plea expected today in connection to the Breonna Taylor case. And we're dealing with a little bit of fog out there early this morning. We'll have the latest details on your full Monday forecast coming up in just a second. Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon starts now. Morning, Kentucky. I'm Lee Cruz. And I'm Haley Harvin. Thanks so much for joining us. And that's how you know that you're beloved at the new show you're on. That banner, they only popped it up for a second, but they say? had my name spelled wrong, but honestly, I don't fault them. Lee, you don't well, even spell it right. You're a short timer. That's what it is. That's like, exactly you know. what it is. <laughs> Happened everywhere I've worked. Literally doesn't even offend me. But good morning, everybody. Thanks for being with us for Good Morning, Kentucky. Maybe you're spelling it wrong. Maybe it's you. Take it up with Haley Mills, because okay. that's who it's spelled after. Right. Lee, we survived the first half hour we of the show. We're five doing five okay 30. so far. We haven't crashed the plane Are you having yet. a problem back there? Everything okay? Uh, uh, well, I'll talk to my doctor about it later. Sure. No, I'm okay. sitting on my wire, I think. Sorry. I guess we'll see. Okay. Okay, we want to kick things off this half hour uh, this morning to help you plan your Monday with meteorologist Dylan Goday. Dylan, what the heck's going on, buddy? Well, not a whole lot weather-wise this morning, which is some I good mean, news. personally, what's going personally, on with you? Personally, there's a whole lot. Okay. Wow. Well, well that's why we're here for, Dylan. Yeah. Spill the tea, honey. Yeah, I just don't <laughs> think we have enough time in the show to get okay. into that. But I do have enough time to get into that forecast. Let's go ahead and check it out. Live look at Mount Sterling on our Bluegrass Care Navigator Skyview. A little bit of fog possible elsewhere. Not quite seeing that in Mount Sterling, but we're seeing that here in Lexington, also into Richmond. You can't even see anything on our Skyview here at the station. So uh, make sure you are taking it slow on that morning commute. We are dealing with below two mile visibility here in Lexington, three mile visibility in the Richmond. As you head towards central Kentucky near the Campbellsville area, also dealing with a lot of fog there as well. So again, take it slow on that morning commute. Temperatures right now, we've got low 60s uh, for some areas, even upper 60s here in Lexington and Frankfurt. And as you head throughout your day today, we'll see a few spotty uh, pop-up showers and storms developing, but most areas stay dry. Temperatures by the afternoon reaching the low 80s. Coming up in your full forecast, we'll break down what you can expect for the rest of the work week. All right, Dylan, thank you so much. All right, let's get to your headlines. Kentucky State Police are now releasing more information this morning. It's on the scary scene that took place at the State Fair in Midway over the weekend. Yeah, police say they've arrested nine people so far in connection to an incident that forced the fair to close early on Saturday night. Our Shakira Hawkins joins us in studio now with more details on what happened. Yes, that's correct, guys. State police telling our Louisville affiliate, WHAS, they received reports of a disturbance in front of the fairgrounds around 920 Saturday night. The preliminary investigation found that a group of people caused panic at the fair with noise-making devices, which caused others to believe shots were fired. This led officials to do a soft close out of caution. Investigators say they have found no evidence of a weapon being discharged during the incident, but said the investigation is ongoing. In total, nine people have been arrested in connection to Saturday night's incident, three adults and six minors among the arrest, with all of them being from Jefferson County. Their charges include disorderly conduct, menacing, possession of a stolen property, and possession of a handgun. The president and CEO of Kentucky Venues, David Beck, said the State Fair Board will continue to work closely with law enforcement as the investigation continues. Operation did return to normal on Sunday, and that will continue throughout the rest of the week. For ABC 36 News, I'm Shakira Hawkins. Okay, Shakira, thanks so much. A former Kentucky police detective intends to plead guilty today to a civil rights charge. This is all stemming from the botched drug raid that led to Breonna Taylor's deadly shooting in 2020. This is according to the AP. Former Louisville detective Kelly Goodlett is set to appear before a federal judge later today to enter her plea. The Courier-Journal reporting Goodlett will plead guilty to one count of conspiring to violate Taylor's civil rights for helping falsify an affidavit for the police search of her apartment. This comes just a few days after Sergeant Kyle Meany, who was one of the two other officers charged by the U.S. Department of Justice earlier this month, was terminated from the Louisville Metro Police Department. Mercer County Schools community is mourning the loss of one of its students. 
The district posting to Facebook Sunday morning say they are deeply saddened by the passing of eighth grader Griffin Baker, a student baseball player at King Middle School in Harrodsburg. The school says Baker passed away due to injuries suffered in an ATV accident. To another school district this morning, Berea Community Schools have postponed the start of the new semester by almost a week. This is due to COVID-19 concerns within the community. The district announcing that classes will finally start up this morning. That's after it pushed back its original August 18th start date due to rising COVID-19 levels in Madison County. Superintendent Diana Hatchett in a statement released by the school said the school did not have enough health, uh, healthy staff ready for the August 18th start date. The district will make up for the missed days on November 21st and 22nd, which were originally planned as staff work days. A number of people will be gathering at the state capitol Sunday morning, or I should say gathered at the state capitol Sunday morning, to remember the hundreds of Kentuckians who have died from fentanyl poisoning in recent years. The founder, Angela Parkinson, created the foundation in honor of her son who died last year because of fentanyl poisoning. There were guest speakers and organizations offering free Narcan as families shared stories of how the dangerous drug has affected them. We tell people all the time it's too late for our kids because they're dead, but we're trying to save your kid, you know what I mean? And we really, we know you think it won't happen. I thought that too. And I don't want you to find out like me every day I wake up Groundhog Day, my son is dead, trying to figure out what happened to him. How did this happen? How can I prevent it? Organizers say Kentucky is number two in the nation when it comes to fentanyl poisoning. For more information or to find resources, you can go to this story on our website, WTBQ.com. Well, today begins Commerce Lexington's week-long celebration of local small businesses, and there's a special new deli in town. Our Annie Brown joins us live now in downtown Lexington at a new place that all began with one man's love for the Kentucky Wildcats. Isn't that right, Annie? Good morning. Lynn Haley, good morning. It absolutely is. You're finding me here at Big Blue Deli. It's on North Limestone Street by Constitution Street in Lexington. And you guys, we all have a love for the cats here. You know it, I know it. And the owner of Big Blue Deli, well, he is taking it to the next level. I had the opportunity to sit down and talk with him about his love for the cats and taste some of that yummy food. Take a look. It all began with a love for the cats and a need for a lunch spot downtown. So we saw kind of a need for a place that was sold out for UK, uh, a place that people could come, see some old memorabilia, but also have like a common group of people that they're with. Big Blue Deli, which opened just two weeks ago on North Limestone, is wall-to-wall -wall UK memorabilia. Most of the cats-themed decor is from owner Zach Wright's personal collection. He prides himself on having memorabilia from before the Calipari days. He says he's always had the idea to open a UK-themed deli in his head, being a huge fan himself. Uh, I, I've been all over this world and watched cats games in Asia. I've watched them. We watched one in Ireland. Uh, there's not much I want to do to make sure I can watch the cats. But it's not just the decor that's UK-themed. The food is, too. The deli sandwiches are named after each of UK's basketball championship years and players. And dessert? Well, that's a blue and white soft serve ice cream swirl. And you can enjoy your blue and white ice cream cone at Real Rupp Arena bleachers that were in the arena from 1976 to 2019. I sat so many games on these bleachers, like it's a real nostalgic thing for me. And I thought people would understand that and also want to have the same experience. Wright says he wants to create a space where regulars feel welcome, making nameplates for each one. We want to make sure that they know they're welcome here. They always have a seat here. Uh, so we started putting their name. That way they feel like they have a little piece of it as well. And now Lee and Haley Wright tells me that UK players have already stopped by his deli to taste some of the food. And that business is booming, which is really cool. And I have to say, you guys, this is one of my favorite stories that I've ever done. I'll be thinking about that ice cream cone for a really, really long time. Live downtown, I'm Annie Brown. Back to you guys. I was going to say, what time are they going she sure does. She can't let it go. Yeah, she's got You're a problem. We've been thinking about this for a long time, Annie <laughs> says. Well, Annie, we'll treat you next time we see you. We'll take you to get some. Yeah. Um, okay, it is 5.39 on this Monday morning. Uh, Lee, what's coming up next? Well, uh, we're going to talk to Dylan.
right? Yes, we are. Yes. He's got to do weather at least <laughs> well, one more time. Well, you're asking me for Yeah, we're going to talk to Dylan, and we'll wrap up uh, – the week in motorsports world with Dylan as well. Yes, plus what Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell has to say about the upcoming midterm election. Stick around. Good Morning Kentucky continues right after this. Here's a quick look at that Monday forecast. Two storms possible, 82 degrees coming up after this break. We'll have details on what will be a warm and mainly dry work week. All that more coming up right after this break. Kentucky sports fans are looking for someone who loves the game as much as they do. Someone who can tell them their stories about their hometown players. Because sports is about pride. I'm ABC 36 Sports Director Jeff Pecoro, And I am Kentucky Sports. Anna, can you count to five without saying one or three? Sure. Two, four, five. <laughs> That's right. Our big story is the two for five breakfast deal at Hardy's. You got me. I know. I did. Bite into our made-from-scratch biscuits today. Like so many, we are proud to call Kentucky our home and have been heartbroken by the devastating floods in eastern Kentucky. For those who want to donate to help flood victims, there are many ways to get involved. So much needs to be done. Let's come together for a stronger Kentucky. My mom is 81 and she's having trouble walking, taking care of herself. There are expectations. You gotta kinda shut down your emotion and just do what needs to be done. I love my mom, but I, I need some help. Whether someone is across the neighborhood, across the street, or across the room, you have the power to make them feel right at home. Ritz, a taste of welcome. Can you believe someone thought this would help you hear better and no one will notice it? Genius. Now this is Irigo, made to be heard, not seen. Shop our Labor Day sale for $300 off Irigo 6. I'm Mandy Williamson, host of mom to mom As a mom, we just want our kids to get along. We would love for our kids to be helpful around the house. And we want our kids to eat healthy. Basically, we want to manage the chaos and still make time for ourselves. But momming is hard, so I'm here to share some great tips with you to make it easier. So join me each week for Mom to Mom. <laughs> Brought to you by Hits 106.3. Did you just toot on me? <laughs> Hands. You might think they're just for waving, but they can be used for all kinds of things, like making made-from-scratch biscuits at Hardee's. Bite into the new two for five dollar breakfast deal only at Hardee's. This portion of ABC 36 News is brought to you in part by Dr. Stereo. We bring music and movies to life. Good morning, Kentucky. Meteorologist Dylan Day here. Let's look at those weather headlines. Some patchy morning fog out there when you do head out the door for the morning commute. So keep that in mind. We'll be dealing with a few storms possible by the late morning, early afternoon, but I think most areas will stay dry for your day today, which is some good news. We'll stay drier and warmer throughout much of the week as well. Temperatures are going to be reaching the upper 80s by the end of the week, so we're still not back into the 90s like we were earlier uh, this summer. Still hanging into temperatures below average, actually, to start your week. and won't be until late in the week that we'll get back to above average temperatures. We are dealing with some fog out there, especially here in Lexington, down to a quarter mile visibility right now, down to two miles of visibility in Richmond. And that's where you can see actually a better look now than what we saw around 30 minutes ago. We saw uh, some very dense fog where you couldn't even see the water tower or the stadium there at Eastern Kentucky University. But now you can. So that's some good news there, seeing a little bit of that fog dissipating. Temperatures there in Richmond, 64 degrees right now with a light westerly wind. Temperatures elsewhere, 68 in Lexington, Frankfurt, Moorhead, 69 in Jackson, 70 in the London Corbin area, same for Hazard as well. So southeast Kentucky, where we're dealing with a little bit more cloud cover, slightly warmer temperatures as well. Max AG radar and satellite showing some light showers there towards far southeastern Kentucky. We saw some heavier showers and even a few storms move through areas like Monticello, Somerset, the Lake Cumberland region overnight. But those have now moved eastward and really not expecting uh, many concerns storm-wise even by this afternoon. There will be some pop-up showers and storms developing, some slow-moving ones at that. 
but the heavier rain is off towards West Virginia and into Virginia, where we're actually dealing with uh, some flash flooding potential there into central West Virginia. Futurecast radar and satellite does clear out that fog by late this morning, and we will be dealing with, again, a few pop-up showers and storms by the afternoon hours. Overnight tonight, a stray storm early, but then we're going to start to see that fog developing by the time your Tuesday morning rolls around. It could be pretty dense, especially into the valleys in southeast Kentucky. As you head towards your Tuesday afternoon, that's where we'll start to see some more sunshine developing. I think Futurecast overdoing the shower and storm potential will likely be drier for your Tuesday. And that's going to be a trend that we'll see continue throughout the rest of the week as well. For your Monday, 82, a few storms possible with a northwesterly breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, again, 62, stray storm with some patchy fog. Northwesterly breeze does continue. Look at a seven-day forecast, 84 for your Tuesday, 85 for Wednesday. That's our go day of the week, so... Haley, you may not be familiar with what a go day is, but okay. that is the best weather day of the week. Kind of a play on words with my last name. Yes. So it's a day to go outside and enjoy the weather. I like that. You know, we should get that sponsored. Yes, we should. <laughs> it's almost like we do, right? It <laughs> is. I love it so much. Yes. That's wonderful. I love that idea for sure. Dylan, a yes. go day. An easy way to know how to pronounce his last name. That's right. Because I had to ask him. Yeah, a while back. Lots of so times. I didn't mess it up. But we figured it out. <laughs> yes, we did, Dylan. We did. Thank you so much, buddy. Yes. Okay, another look at your traffic on this Monday morning. Here's a live look at Richmond Road and Manowar Boulevard. No accidents to speak of at this time. Traffic picking up a little bit as we get closer to that morning commute. One note, though, keep in mind classes kick off today for UK students. So if you're around campus, be advised there might be a little extra traffic. More good morning, Kentucky, coming up right after the break. Cars will break down. And when they do, it's too late. If your car is out of warranty, it leaves you with two choices. Get stuck paying for expensive repairs or one phone call to CarShield. Their administrators pay for your covered repairs so you don't have to. Your coverage includes roadside assistance, towing, rental, and so much more. Plus, with their nationwide network, you choose the mechanic or dealer. Best of all, there's coverage for every wallet size. Make the smart call before it's too late. Call CarShield today. A new Chevy is the smart way to hit the open road this summer. The smart way to road trip and seek new adventures. Go a little farther this summer in a new Chevy. Find new get up and go. Find new roads. Enjoy the open road and make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2022 Equinox models. Plus, get 0% financing when you finance with GM Financial. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. I'm Jeff Pecora, sports director at ABC 36. Changes are on the way. Join me weeknights. In today's Tech Bytes, TikTok is tracking your keystrokes. Researchers say the in-app browser on the video hosting service has supplementary code that lets the company track everything users type. TikTok officials say the tracking is only for troubleshooting purposes. HBO Max says it's dropping about 200 episodes of Sesame Street from its catalog, mostly from its earlier seasons. The company says it's making room for newer episodes and promises it is committed to continue bringing the show to preschoolers. And Netflix subscribers may get a commercial break on the service's new ad support tier. Bloomberg is reporting original movies may be ad-free when they're first released. The commercials would be added in at a later time. The new tier is set to arrive early next year. Ads on Netflix. I suppose I've heard of Stranger Things. Those are your tech bites. Have a great day. You got 100 points. Have you been moisturizing? Just sunscreen. That's 50 points. With AARP rewards, anyone can earn points. Who's got 200 points? You've got 200 points. It's the free loyalty program that rewards you. They're ready for you. That's 300 points. And helps your money, health, and happiness live longer. Are these times 200 points. Start earning and redeeming points today. Ugh, stipated. Feeling weighed down by a backed up uh. gut. Miralax is different. It works naturally with the water in your body to unblock your gut. Free your gut and your mood will follow. Think Dad's searching doggy diet plans for Josie? No, he's switching his choice cashback category to home improvement, so he earns more on a new doggy door. Extra large. With the Bank of America customized cash rewards card, you just can't stop getting rewarded.
Welcome back to Good Morning Kentucky. Now we got a new segment for the morning show, Motorsports, with our resident motorsports expert, Dylan. Uh, can you drive a stick? That's the first I question. I actually can. Okay, I because can. if you can't, this segment is done as we speak. <laughs> yes. All right, so uh, what? why are you the uh, motorsport expert? Well, I can promise you, especially here in Kentucky, I'm one of the biggest motorsports fans in general, whether You're it's a gear racing, yeah. yes, or you know, drag racing, NASCAR racing, Formula mm -hmm. One, IndyCar, I love it all, mm -hmm. and I like to experience all the different kinds of motorsports too, so that's something... Uh, I've liked since I was a kid. So, All right, so what is the big headline? Let's start with that over the weekend. What happened? Well, this weekend, two of the three big series, IndyCar and Formula One, were off this weekend, and that led uh, to all eyes on NASCAR. It was a big race this weekend at Watkins Glen, and for the first time in NASCAR history, seven different countries were represented by the drivers in the race, including Finland's own Formula One champion, Kimi Raikkonen, who, you know, didn't perform very well in the race, but he's one of the few Formula One drivers to actually, you know, switch it up, race in NASCAR, so that was very cool for him. How well do those Formula One guys do in NASCAR occasionally when they jump? Well, they, I mean, it's very challenging to do the two, you know, to yeah, change up a whole between different open style wheel versus, right. you know, a stock car. Um, it was a road course race, so it uh -huh. kind of fit into his wheelhouse uh, there. So it was really cool to see him, you know, showing his talent. He ended up wrecking uh, when he was racing in the top ten. So, Well, the last time I saw that was Sasha Baron Cohen, of course, taking on Will Ferrell. If you'll remember that. That's the last yes. time I saw a European be successful yes. in NASCAR. And it's not really that, you know, the stereotype, because there's right. several, you know, we've got Daniel Suarez, he's from Mexico, uh -huh. uh, but he's actually doing very well in NASCAR, but that is fun. But it looked like it was a wet track, though. It didn't look like it was fun. Yes, it yeah. was raining at the beginning of the race, which actually really helped out Kimmy because he was, you know, flying through the field. And most of the NASCAR drivers, you know, they don't race in rain all the time, <laughs> right. so... It uh, definitely slick made. Tires. What are we doing? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely made for some exciting uh, racing there. But the race itself was very exciting at the end. Two teammates actually kind of got into each other: Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott. Kyle Larson pushed Chase Elliott after out of the way. Rubin's to racing. Win, to win the that's race. That's all I know. Rubin is racing. And Rubin is racing, but. Chase Elliott was not very happy with Kyle Larson after that, considering they're teammates. But mm -hmm. um, Kyle Larson won his second win of the year. Uh, the NASCAR playoffs do start in two weeks. So next week is the last race of the regular season, okay. and then they go on to the playoffs, which is which will be exciting then as well. By the way, I haven't had a chance to watch, but everybody wants me to watch that Netflix series about Formula One. Oh, my it's, goodness. i got to check that so out. so good, yes. Okay. It's mm -hmm. actually appealing, you know, Formula One to the younger crowd. And their right. ratings are skyrocketing right now because of that show. All right, resident gearhead, yep. Dylan Godet. That's right. Time now is uh, 5.52, and coming up next, we got your national view. Plus, we're going to take a look at a scratch uh, forecast, yes. whatever that means. Yes, we'll have a look at that coming up after this. Stay with us. I'm Mandy Williamson, host of mom to mom As a mom, we just want our kids to get along. We would love for our kids to be helpful around the house. And we want our kids to eat healthy. Basically, we want to manage the chaos and still make time for ourselves. But momming is hard, so I'm here to share some great tips with you to make it easier. So join me each week for Mom to Mom. <laughs> Brought to you by Hits 106.3. Did you just toot on me? <laughs> aren't worth putting off like your car insurance good thing we're here to remind you imagine a knife taking this much abuse and didn't need sharpening introducing the incredible NutriBlade knives they're coated with granite stone non-stick and made of stainless steel one of the hardest substances on earth now everyone can chop slice and dice just like a pro the Easy Grip rubberized handles deliver incredible control and accuracy to chop salads in seconds and cut frozen solid meat with ease and get razor thin slices every time. The nonstick surface means food slides right off and they're dishwasher safe. Plus, they'll stay razor sharp guaranteed. A complete set of chef knives can cost you hundreds, but today you can get this professional six piece set of NutriBlades for just $29.95. Order right now, and we'll even ship them to you free. Now get your own NutriBlade knives from Granite Stone. 
The last knives you'll ever buy. Call 1 800 628 9134 or go to buy I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. As millions flock to the metaverse, many are experiencing unnecessary pain and suffering, terrible car crashes, frightening trip and falls, and on-the-job injuries. Our army of over 800 attorneys and 4,000 support staff have recovered billions for clients just like you. Injured? Just dial pound law. That's all. Morgan & Morgan, America, and now the universe's largest injury law firm. Explore, compare, and find your car at mancars.com. Man, what a deal. Welcome back to Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon. Here's a look at that Kentucky Lottery Scratch forecast. Today, we've got temperatures into the low 80s. Stray shower or storm possible. Drier for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures reaching the low to mid 80s. Thanks for staying with us. Time is now 5.55. All right, with the midterm elections just around the corner, new polling data shows Democratic candidates are rapidly gaining ground in key races across the country. Uh, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell now getting backlash for admitting Democrats may be able to hold on to the Senate. This comes as a new poll shows voters are concerned about threats to democracy even more than the economy. ABC's M. Wynn has what we can expect from the midterms from Washington. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell tamping down expectations that his party can win back both the House and Senate in the fast approaching midterms. There's a, probably a greater likelihood the House flips than the Senate. Senate races are just different. They're statewide. Um, candidate quality has a lot to do with the outcome. Former President Trump calling the Republican leader a broken down hack over his election prediction. He and most Republicans criticizing the country's record high inflation under the Biden administration, hoping for a red wave. But after several legislative wins, including a sweeping tax and climate bill signed into law last week, Democrats say the political winds are shifting. We've been counted out for a while now, but we are having a comeback. From Texas to Ohio to Pennsylvania, polls are backing up that argument. Everywhere you look these days, there's a poll showing a Democrat tied or even ahead in states they were expected to lose. Top of voters' minds, according to a new NBC poll. Threats to democracy at 21 percent, ahead of cost of living at 16 percent. According to the survey, 57 percent of voters also say investigations into the alleged wrongdoing by Trump should continue. President Biden's approval rating, however, sticking to a low 42 percent, though his handling of the economy did go up by seven points from May. This comes as a federal appeals court temporarily stopped a ruling mandating Senator Lindsey Graham testify in the investigation into pro-Trump efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington. All right, we've got another look at today's local headlines coming up next as we continue with Good Morning Kentucky, 557. It's time for the biggest sale of the year on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because proven quality sleep is vital to our health and wellness, only the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed keeps you cool, then senses and effortlessly adjusts for your best sleep. It tells you exactly how well you slept, your sleep IQ score. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night, so you can be your best for yourself and those you care about most. Don't miss our weekend special. All Smart Beds are on sale. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed. Ends Monday. It's time to find your adventure with Girl Scouts and Spirit Untamed. Wow. Sign me up. Let's go, girl. Whether you've got courage to spare. Jump! I just rode a horse. Skills worth showing off. We'll get your family back. Or you just want to make new friends. I'm going to call you Spirit. There's always a home for you at Girl Scouts. <laughs> where every spirit is encouraged to shine. Oh, do I have marshmallow on my face? <laughs> <laughs> it's in your heart to run free. It's in mine, too. Trust me. Rocky! Girl Scouts, come be yourself with us. 
so sweet, so crispy. Nobody makes breakfast as good as Wendy's new homestyle French toast sticks. Nobody. <clears throat> nope. Mm. Keep talking. I'm, I, should, I, I can't hear you. I'm, I should probably stop. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new homestyle French toast sticks. Lowe's has what you need to protect and brighten your home. With exterior stains by Cabot and paint from HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams. Save at Lowe's today. Did you know that more than 90% of poisonings happen at home? Look closely and you will find poison risks hidden in plain sight inside every house. But there are actions you can take to keep your family safe. Identifying and eliminating poison risks can protect your family from accidental poisonings. Visit the Poison Help website for tips on preventing poisonings in your home. Or call 1-800-222-1222, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. This is GMA3, what you need to know. GMA3. A third hour of Good Morning America in the afternoon. It's all about you. Lunchtime on ABC. Coming up on Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon. New details on the scary scene at the Kentucky State Fair over the weekend. The very latest straight ahead. Plus, a guilty plea expected today in connection to the Breonna Taylor case. Still dealing with some fog out there early on this Monday morning. That should be fading throughout the morning hours, giving way to partly cloudy skies by the afternoon. Details coming up in your full forecast. Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon starts now. Good morning, Kentucky. I'm Lee Cruz. And I'm Haley Harmon. Thanks so much for joining us. It is just after 6 o'clock on this Monday morning. We know a lot more of you are awake right now and tuning yeah. in. Does it feel like old times? A little bit. A little, uh, yeah, up at this hour. Seeing you in the dark. Yeah, that's yes. pretty much the way I envisioned it. Yes, yeah. that's right. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, I right. um, hope you guys are having a fresh start to your morning. And we're so thankful that you guys tuned in. We're so excited for this brand new relaunch of Good Morning Kentucky mm -hmm. with the whole team here on ABC 36. I feel so far, none of them have made us angry. We like everybody we're working with. Honestly, like, will that continue? Stay I'm tuned. I'm a little nervous for Dylan. Me too, because like, he's just, like, so... Speaking of, you want to put some pressure on him right now? Sure, go ahead. Okay, let's Here check in with the uh, forecast. Good morning, Dylan. You know we love you. Yes. <laughs> yes, you I figured that out in the first hour so far okay, this good. morning. Okay, good. Good. But we are seeing a little bit of fog out there this morning okay. weather-wise. There's really not a whole lot going on, uh, which is some good news. When the weather's calm... That means I'm in a good mood. When the weather's bad, then I get a little cranky. So really? Just the heads up. That's when our relationship with him wow. will fall apart. He's like my grandmother. Yes. Just a little heads up for <laughs> okay. you guys. Perfect. Well, let's take a live look at Mount Sterling on our Bluegrass Care Navigator Skyview. Calm conditions there. Not dealing with quite as much fog, say, in eastern Kentucky as what we are seeing into central and southern Kentucky here to start your day. Taking a look at the visibility around the region. Quarter mile visibility here in Lexington, three mile visibility in the Richmond. Other areas dealing with uh, clear skies this morning. You head towards Hazard, Jackson, both at 10 mile visibility. Williamsburg, there into southern Kentucky, below three mile visibility as well. So again, take it slow. If you're in an area that's used to seeing fog this time of the year, just give yourself a few extra minutes on that morning commute. Temperatures right now, we've got the mid to upper 60s, even a few 70s. London Corbin area right at 70 degrees, 66 in Richmond, 64 for our friends tuning in there in Danville. Max station radar and satellite still showing some light shower activity in the far southeastern Kentucky near Harlan. Also, the Whitesburg area could be dealing with some very small showers and a few storms early this morning. But as you head throughout your day today, we'll see those partly cloudy skies returning, maybe a stray shower or storm or two with some areas of fog developing late tonight. Okay, Dylan, thanks so much. Let's get to our headlines now here at 6 a.m. Kentucky State Police are now releasing more information on the scary scene that took place at the State Fair over the weekend in Midway. The yeah, police say they arrested nine people so far in connection to an incident that forced the fair to close early on Saturday night. Shakira Hawkins joins us in studio with details on what happened. That's right, guys. State police telling our Louisville affiliate WHAS they received shots of a disturbance in front of the fairgrounds right around 920 Saturday night. The preliminary investigation found that a group of people caused panic at the fair, making noise making devices, which caused others to believe that shots were fired. This led officials to do a soft close out of caution. Investigators say they had found no evidence of a weapon being discharged, but the investigation was ongoing. In total, nine people have been arrested in connection to 
the Saturday night's incident. Three adults and six minors among the arrest, with all of them being from Jefferson County. Their charges include disorderly conduct, menacing and possession of a stolen property, and possession of a handgun. The president and CEO of Kentucky Venues, David Beck, said the State Fair Board will continue to work closely with law enforcement as the investigation continues. Operation did return to normal on Sunday, and that will continue throughout the rest of the week. For ABC 36 News, I'm Shakira Hawkins. Shakira, thanks so much. A former Kentucky police detective intends to plead guilty today to a civil rights charge. This all stemming from the botched drug raid that led to Breonna Taylor's deadly shooting in 2020. All of this according to the AP. Former Louisville detective Kelly Goodlett is set to appear before a federal judge later today to enter her plea. The Courier Journal reporting Goodlett will plead guilty to one count of conspiring to violate Taylor's civil rights for helping falsify an affidavit for the police search of her apartment. This comes just a few days after Sergeant Kyle Meany, who was one of the two other officers charged by the U.S. Department of Justice earlier this month, was terminated from the Louisville Metro Police Department. The Mercer County Schools community is mourning the loss of one of its students. The district posting to Facebook Sunday morning say they are deeply saddened by the passing of 8th grader Griffin Baker, a student and baseball player at King Middle School in Harrisburg. The school says Baker passed away due to injuries suffered in an ATV accident. Our hearts with that community. Now turning to another school district this morning. Berea County, or community schools, have postponed the start of the new semester by almost a week. This due to COVID-19 concerns within the community. The district announcing that classes will finally start up this morning. This is after it pushed back its original August 18th start date due to rising COVID-19 levels in Madison County. A superintendent, Diane Hatchett, in a statement released by the school said, the school did not have enough healthy staff ready for the August 18th start date. The district will make up for the missed days on November 21st and 22nd, which originally planned as staff work days. Local radio legend Carl Shannon was known for putting on car shows for charity. Yes, on Sunday, Shannon's legacy was on full display as the community came together, remembering him through one of the things that he loved most. Carl Shannon's voice ruled the radio stations for more than 40 years. He was also Waveland's Santa Claus and loved putting on car shows. He supported a lot of the events that the local car shows would do. So when he passed away in June at the age of 68, his annual car show at Waveland was left without an organizer. To honor him, his friends stepped up. So we're honoring Carl. This show is in memory of him. This is his last car show. Good friend Terry Malin says Carl was planning to step away this year from his annual car show. On Sunday, the tradition continued as people brought their classics out, all to raise money for the Friends of Waveland, a charity that was near to Shannon's heart. Each entry gets uh, a dash plaque. It's a little piece of memorabilia that they can put on the dash of their car. Uh, it lets, uh, reminds them that they were a part of this event. Malin says he believes Carl was watching over them. We miss him. Uh, he's still in our hearts and he's a big part of the community. So his memory will live on for a long time. In Lexington, Justin Walker, ABC 36 News. We miss our buddy Carl Shannon, too. He was a big supporter of... Uh, of you and I. As yeah, well, you, know. you were friends with him for how I long? For I long. mean, 30 years, maybe yeah. something like that. Yeah, such a wonderful man. It's amazing Incredible to see talent. so many people yeah. out there continuing. What I he love that they're doing that. Me yeah, too. that's great. Uh, today begins Commerce Lexington's week long celebration of local small businesses. And there's a new deli in town. And that all began with one man's love for the Kentucky Wildcats. It's called Big Blue Deli, and it's on North Limestone. It opened its doors just two weeks ago. This after its owner, Zach Wright, saw a need for more lunch spots downtown. And the best part, the deli is decorated wall to wall with UK memorabilia. I'm a huge UK fan. Uh, I, I've been all over this world and watched Cats games in Asia. I've watched them. We watched one in Ireland. Uh, there's not much I want to do to make sure I can watch the Cats. Uh, stick with us because we're going to have more on the new Lexington Lunch Spot's unique owner and all about the restaurant and the importance of small business within our communities. ABC 36's Annie Brown will join us live in about 20 minutes. All right, time now is 6.08. Coming up on Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon. A new approach to stopping homelessness in Lexington. We're going to tell you about it and why it's considered the first of its kind. And here's a quick look at that Monday forecast. Few storms possible, 82 degrees. We'll break down the rest of the work week forecast coming up right after this break.
I'm Jeff Pecoro, the new sports director here at ABC 36 News. I know from experience from playing UK football and for broadcasting for the Reds for decades. Sports is all about heart, giving it all, and leaving it all on the field. We report Central Kentucky sports from the high school games to the biggest moments in sports across Kentucky. We are major Kentucky sports fans. And let me tell you, there is nothing like reporting for your home teams. That's our commitment to you. Oh, does this hair look like it runs for buses? I bet that hair will run if I treat you to Mickey D's. Yeah, you're right. Like right now, you can get any size iced coffee for just $2. Hi, this is Todd with Haas and Haas Real Estate, and I buy houses for cash. If you own a house and want to sell it fast at a fair price, call me at 859-888-1100. I can pay cash and close in as little as 10 days. I buy houses in any condition, any price range, in any location in Fayette and surrounding counties. If you own a house and want to sell it fast, call me today at 859-888-1100. That's 859-888-1100. This is where worry turns into relief, where confusion turns into answers. This is where your family can turn to the experts for the big things and the little things. Extraordinary care is right here. UK Healthcare, the power of advanced medicine. Come on, Brian. Dad, look. Brian, come on. I'm Courtney. I'm Brian. Ready, Brian? Summer won't last forever, but you can go out and make memories that will during Toyota's national sales event. Save over $5,700 in fuel costs on the electrified Corolla Hybrid and get 1.9 APR financing. And college grads save an extra $500 on any new Toyota. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Oh, does this hair look like it runs for buses? I bet that hair will run if I treat you to Mickey D's. Yeah, you're right. Like right now, you can get any size iced coffee for just $2. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Good morning, Kentucky. Meteorologist Dylan Goday here with a look at your weather headlines on this Monday morning. Some patchy fog possible as you head out the door to start your day today. A few storms will also be possible towards the afternoon hours, but most areas will stay dry. And that's going to be a sign of a drier and warmer work week that will be on the way. Again, we are dealing with some areas of fog out there, and I think we're actually starting to see an increase in some areas down to a quarter mile visibility here in Lexington, three mile visibility in Richmond. Richmond had a little bit of a more dense fog earlier this morning. Right now, not too bad. You can see the water tower there at Eastern Kentucky University. Same with the football stadium. Around an hour ago, you couldn't see any of that. It was just covered in a blanket of fog uh, for the morning hours. Current conditions there in Richmond on your Monday morning. We've got temperature right at 66 degrees. Dew point at 66, 66 as well. So we could see some of that fog developing, especially in the valleys. Winds are calm right now as well. So again, I think that also will lead to some more fog developing. Temperatures elsewhere, 68 in Lexington and Moorhead, 67 for our friends in Frankfurt, 64 in the Danville, Somerset at 68, and the London Corbin area also at 70 this morning. Max HD radar and satellite continuing to see some shower activity in the far southeastern Kentucky. Elsewhere, though, not dealing with much of that rain at all. Uh, for your morning hours today. If you look around the region, some heavy rain in the West Virginia, also in the mountains of North Carolina, Tennessee. That's that system that moved through yesterday. We did see several severe thunderstorm warnings, some flash flood warnings even at times in the southeast Kentucky. Good news is the bulk of that precipitation and moisture is pushing off to our east today, and that's going to lead to a drier week anticipated. For your afternoon today, some pop-up showers and storms will be possible, not expecting widespread rain, and really shouldn't be seeing too strong of storms for the day today. Temperatures reaching the low 80s. Overnight tonight, we're going to see some more valley fog developing out there before we we'll eventually see mostly sunny skies by the afternoon. For your day today, 82 degrees, a few storms possible with a northwesterly breeze. Tonight, 62. Stray storm will also be possible. Good news is we're dry throughout much of the week before rain chances return for the weekend, uh, I know you probably would prefer a drier weekend, mm -hmm. but I would thank you.
with as rainy so. as it's been, it's nice <laughs> yeah. to get a little bit of a break from that. Yeah, let's do a little poll right now. How many hours of sleep did you get last night? Uh, three hours. Oh, you're better than me. I got about yes. two and a half. What about you? I, I haven't awakened yet. You haven't awakened? That's correct. You're I'm still asleep. Yes, yeah, it's crazy. Well, maybe the, the combined sleep of ours would equal the eight hours that you're supposed to get. Yeah. Honestly, I don't see how second, doctors second. couldn't say we're doing it the most healthy way possible. That's right. Okay, thanks again for being with us. It is uh, 6.15 this morning. Let's take a live look outside at your traffic. Yeah, this is uh, New Circle and Nicholasville Road. As Dylan pointed out, it's a little foggy out there still, so be careful on your way to work. You can't make summer stand still, so make the most of every last second with a new Toyota at Toyota's national sales event. This electrified Camry hybrid can save over $5,700 and get two years no-cost maintenance. Toyota, let's go places. I was driving home from practice, and I remember seeing this car coming right towards me and a huge, loud... I knew with my injuries that I wasn't going to be able to play. Having my career cut short by a drunk driver was the worst part of my life. I knew if there was, you know, one firm to get me justice and to get me compensated for that, it was going to be Morgan & Morgan. Morgan & Morgan has definitely really helped me in the toughest, darkest moments of my life. Those guys were there for me. I'm Chandler Parsons, and I chose Morgan & Morgan. Smoking damaged my heart. Now I have a battery-operated heart pump. My tip is, stop thinking this can only happen when you get old. My heart failure happened at 38. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. We all want to live healthier lives. It's only natural. Your body is a product of nature. Why would you nurture it with anything else? Just like your body, our vitamins, minerals, and herbs are grown from nature. And with all our products and advice, we have something for everything under the sun. We'll make sure you get everything you need, nothing you don't. All from nature herself. Roberts Health Foods, 1020 Industry Road, Lexington. You'll want to come see us. It's only natural. At Wiseway, we're ready to deal on lighting and accessories you can't find online. So hurry in for the Let's Make a Deal sale. Two days of amazing deals. August 26th and 27th at the Wiseway Showroom in Lexington. Formerly Kentucky Lighting. There's never been anything like it. Designer lighting and accessories on sale where you determine the price you pay. So go ahead, make us an offer during the Let's Make a Deal sale. August 26th and 27th at Wiseway in Lexington on Winchester Road. You can't make summer stand still, so make the most of every last second with a new Toyota at Toyota's national sales event. This electrified RAV4 hybrid can save over $3,700 and get two years no-cost maintenance. Toyota, let's go places. We're all, as a world, going through something right now. Gotta get a real song. It's been challenging. We got but you know what? Keep marching on. Good morning, sunshine. A challenge we face today, a brighter tomorrow. Watch ABC 36 every Friday night for Chief Meteorologist T.J. Shuck's Bowtie Friday Forecast. Brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Welcome back to Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon. Welcome back to Good Morning Kentucky. It was a big weekend for the Recovery Cafe here in Lexington. The nonprofit launched a new initiative aimed at providing case management for people struggling with homelessness. ABC 36's Justin Walker was actually at the event and has more on what's being done to help the unhoused within our community. One year ago Friday, Chastity Griffin lost her sister to an overdose. She says both of them have been through homelessness. When she passed away, I decided to bring something more to our community and wanted to bring a passion of housing because she struggled with housing. Now working on her doctorate, Griffin wanted a way to honor her sister. That's when Kate's Place was born. Kate's Place is basically bringing individualized targeted case management to our community, which means we're not working at homeless itself. We're looking at the individual. The initiative launching Saturday at a homeless awareness rally. Kate's Place will be an extension of Lexington's Recovery Cafe, a nonprofit that works to help the city's homeless community and those who are in recovery from addictions. It's always very, very important, one, to break the stigma with mental illness, um, substance use disorders, and homelessness. Um, the more people feel loved, accepted, and have purpose within the community, the healthier the community will be. 
Organizers say Kate's Place will focus on people in recovery who need extra support for housing. It'll provide services that contribute to stability and mobility. We're not here to force recovery on someone or to judge. We're here to empower people on their recovery journey. For Griffin, it's a way to remember her sister while giving love to those who are in those same shoes. But here, there is no stigma. There is no judgment. It's an uh, inclusive environment, and we love absolutely everyone that walks through those doors. For more information about Kate's Place, click on this story on our website, WTVQ.com. In Lexington, Justin Walker, ABC 36 News. An amazing initiative, Justin. Thank you, buddy. Okay, it is 619 this morning. We're going to have a look at today's top headlines coming up for you in just a few minutes. But first, we got sports coming up next. Stick around. Good morning, Kentucky. Back in just a moment. This was when I noticed how white my son's teeth were and how yellow mine were, and I needed to make a change. My smile's yellowish or dingy, and it definitely made me self-conscious. I can't magically become younger, but I can certainly look younger, and I'm doing that with Smile Actives. Introducing Smile Actives, the teeth whitening breakthrough that gets your teeth white and keeps them white. I eat the blueberries, I drink the coffee, and I know that Smile Actives will keep my teeth white every day. What makes Smile Actives different is that when added to any toothpaste, its revolutionary poly-clean technology activates, transforming into a powerful microphone that goes into the enamel surface to lift and remove stains. You need a simple way to whiten your teeth without strips, without trays, without going to the dentist. And it was about time that a product was developed that you would be able to do that with just brushing. Look at the power of Smile Actives on years of food stains and even coffee and wine stains. Smile Actives is safe and effective and also works on veneers, crowns, and dentures. This is after using Smile Actives, and you can really see how white my teeth are now next to my son's. Why spend hundreds of dollars for whitening treatments at the dentist when you can whiten your teeth at home with Smile Actives for just $19.95? Order in the next five minutes, and you'll get a second Smile Actives Power Whitening Gel absolutely free. That's a 50% savings. Perfect for travel, work, or to share with family or friends. Order right now and we'll sweeten the deal and include free shipping. That's two for the price of one. Yours for just $19.95. Best of all, Smile Actives will get your teeth six shades whiter, guaranteed, or your money back. Hurry and take advantage of this special TV offer not available in stores. You don't want to miss it. So pick up the phone and call the number on your screen or go to SmileActives.com to order right now. Attention foodies, with this fusion of prime rib steak, melted provolone, and other magical melty stuff, Arby's is now officially a fusion restaurant. Chef Smooch, Arby's, we have the meat. Hello, I'm Rob Kepperling. And I'm Christina Pink Kepperling with Powerful Legacy Insurance and Financial Services. And I'm Randy Major. Have you ever wondered if your retirement is on the right track? Join us here every week to find out how you can live the retirement of your dreams. Explore, compare, and find your car at mancars.com. Man, what a deal. Coming off a 10-win season and a Citrus Bowl victory, Kentucky football enters the season ranked in the preseason AP poll for the first time in over 40 years. The Cats are ranked 20th in the AP and 21st in the coaches. But it's not about where you are before the season starts. It's all about where you finish. Head coach Mark Stoops is excited about the recognition UK is receiving, but is focused on where they stand come January. Again, I've said this many times when we weren't ranked. Let, let's, I'd rather see where we're at at the end of the year, right? And that's still the same. I want to be ranked much higher than we are right now at the end of the season. So it is what it is. I have no control over that stuff. And uh, I like this team. I like the focus they have. Um, we need to do some things better. We'll challenge them. We'll work on that. But overall, I like their mindset. One player who is expected to play a big part in Kentucky's success this season is Virginia Tech transfer wide receiver Tavion Robinson. Another Robinson transferred to UK, and things worked out for him. I'm talking about Wandale, who left Nebraska to join the Cats and went on to set the program's single-season receiving yards record last season. Besides the two sharing the same last name, they also share some similarities on the field. Both are extremely football smart. I mean, 
Wandell, we could put him in any position at any play, and he'd know what he's doing, and Tavion's the same way. And we've been able to do a lot of great things with him by putting him at Z, putting him at F, just moving him around, trying different things with him, and he just gets it. And that's where I think they're most similar is just their football IQ and uh, their ability to be kind of moved around like a chess piece within the offense um, and get them into positions where, where we want them to be. On Saturday, former UK Hoops star and Philadelphia 76ers guard Tyrese Maxey put on a free basketball camp for kids ages 7 to 12 in Lexington at the Joe Craft Center, where he passed along advice on how to be a great player. Now, Maxey went on to talk about how important camps like this were to him as a kid. It meant a lot to me because I was able to go to a few NBA camps like this when I was younger. I was able to go to the um, LaMarcus Aldridge camp. And then I also was able to go to the Chris Boss camp. So um, to be able to come to this camp free, I wanted it to be like somewhere where everybody could come. Uh, no one had, had any, no limitations. It was just the first 200 or however many people that we uh, invite, I mean, that we that signed up. I wanted it to be anybody, no matter what the background was. And I wanted uh, a fair opportunity for everybody. The Cincinnati Bengals dropped to 0-2 in the preseason. The Giants win 25-22. Former Wildcat Wando Robinson had three catches in the game, but for a loss of three yards. We have one more week left until we officially kick off the season. It's a Super Bowl rematch on Saturday. The Bengals play the Rams to end the preseason. That wraps things up for sports. I'm Chris Bolton. ABC 36 Solid Blue Sports Report is brought to you by UK Federal Credit Union. You can't make summer stand still, so make the most of every last second with a new Toyota at Toyota's National Sales Event. This electrified RAV4 hybrid can save over $3,700 and get two years no-cost maintenance. Toyota, let's go places. How's it working out with Benny here at the credit union? Yeah. I'll be right with you, man. My bad. Benny's better at football. We're better at banking. He's working out, in a sense. UK Federal Credit Union. It's banking, only better. Heavy duty pulling power. To conquer the high road or the off road. The GMC Sierra Heavy Duty. Premium and capable. Sierra Heavy Duty models are arriving weekly at your local GMC dealers. Available for immediate delivery with 0% financing. Bath Fitter doesn't just fit your bath. With hundreds of custom designs, it fits your style. With our unique tub-over-tub -tub installation in just a day, it fits your schedule with no demo or mess. With quality that's guaranteed for life, it fits your high standards. It just fits. Bath Fitter. Call 859-495-1830 today to book your free in-home consultation. Call now. At Wiseway, we're ready to deal on lighting and accessories you can't find online. So hurry in for the Let's Make a Deal sale. Two days of amazing deals. August 26th and 27th at the Wiseway Showroom in Lexington. Formerly Kentucky Lighting. There's never been anything like it. Designer lighting and accessories on sale where you determine the price you pay. So go ahead, make us an offer during the Let's Make a Deal sale. August 26th and 27th at Wiseway in Lexington on Winchester Road. Time's running out to get a new Toyota during Toyota's national sales event. It's too late. <clears throat> I'm not too late. This electrified Highlander hybrid can save $3,000 and get two years no-cost maintenance. Toyota, let's go places. This portion of ABC 36 News is brought to you in part by Commonwealth Credit Union. Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon. A scary scene at the Kentucky State Fair over the weekend. New details straight ahead. What's well, a guilty plea expect today in connection to the Breonna Taylor case? 
We are dealing with some patchy fog out there early on this Monday morning. Could continue through some most of the morning hours. We'll have those details coming up in your full forecast. Good morning, Kentucky, with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon starts now. Yeah, good morning, Kentucky. I'm Lee Cruz. And I'm Haley Harmon. Thanks so much for joining us today for Good Morning Kentucky. We so appreciate you tuning in this morning, this relaunch of Good Morning Kentucky. Here we are. We are so excited to be here, and we're so excited to have you in our audience. Thank and just you. yeah, be part of this newness and fresh start here yeah, on The Morning Show. Having a good time. We like our new family, and it's, right. uh, it's an opportunity for us. It is. Isn't it? Isn't it not? I think it is. <laughs> I think they may keep us. Tune in tomorrow to see if we're still here. Uh, but no, we, uh, you know, this show is on from 5 to 7, so if you were with us earlier this morning, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. We feel like those were the pilot and maybe season one. When people are, we're just getting right. into our characters. Get to know the characters. And here now, at 6.30. Here comes the drama, and you can tell the weather guy's sketchy. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah. It's Dylan, is it Godet? Godet, I'm not, I'm not sure. Is it French? Dylan, what's going on, sir? It's like Baudet, isn't it? Baudet, is it yes. Kind of, or Baudet. Or Baudet. Maybe it's a Baudet. Yes. Oh. Wonderful. What it is. Yeah. Like Dylan. I love being compared to a bidet. Don't you? <laughs> That's what you're going to get here on Good Morning Kentucky. Yes. Dylan, what's going on, buddy? Not a whole lot weather-wise, which is some good news out there. A little bit of fog, but that's pretty much it. Taking a live look at Mount Sterling on our Bluegrass Care Navigator Skyview. You can see some clouds up in the sky, so maybe not the best sunrise this morning. Some very light fog there. Uh, Possibly you can see some of the uh, street lights showing a little bit of that uh, haze out there due to the fog. But as you head throughout your day today, we're going to start to see most of this fog dissipating. Most of the fog right now is into northern and central portions of Kentucky. Lexington now down below a half mile visibility, right at a quarter mile visibility uh, here locally. Richmond has been kind of flirting with low visibility. The fog's been dissipating, returning. Right now, not too bad uh, with over five miles of visibility. So be careful out there, especially here in Fayette County. I think that's where we're dealing with most of the fog uh, this morning, also maybe up towards Georgetown and uh, areas north of Lexington. As you head throughout your day today, these temperatures will be climbing into the 80s, and we'll also be seeing a few showers and storms possible. Already seeing some of those into far southeastern Kentucky, but as you head throughout your day today, partly cloudy skies can be expected. Temperatures reach in the low 80s with a stray shower storm. Dylan, thanks so much. We'll check back in with him shortly for your full forecast. Okay, to your headlines now. Kentucky State Police are now releasing more information on the scary scene that took place at the state fair over the weekend in Midway. Police say they've arrested nine people so far in connection to an incident that forced the fair to close early on Saturday night. Shakira Hawkins joins us in studio with more details on what happened. Yes, that's right, guys. State police telling us our Louisville affiliate, WHAS, they received reports of a disturbance in front of the fairgrounds around 920 Saturday night. The preliminary investigation found that a group of people caused panic at the fair with noise-making devices, which caused others to believe shots were fired. This led officials to do a soft close out of caution. Investigators say they found no evidence of a weapon being discharged during the incident, but they said the investigation was ongoing. In total, nine people have been arrested in connection to Saturday night's incident. Three adults and six minors along with the arrest, all were from Jefferson County. Their charges include disorderly conduct, menacing, possession of a stolen property, and possession of a handgun. The president and CEO of Kentucky Venues, David Beck, said the State Fair Board will continue to work closely with law enforcement as the investigation continues. An operation did return to normal on Sunday, and that will continue throughout the rest of the week. For ABC 36 News, I'm Shakira Hawkins. Shakira, thanks so much. A former Kentucky police detective intends to plead guilty today to a civil rights charge stemming from the botched drug raid that led to Breonna Taylor's deadly shooting in 2020. According to the AP, former Louisville detective Kelly Goodlett is set to appear before a federal judge today to enter that plea. The Courier-Journal reports Goodlett will plead guilty to one count of conspiring to violate Taylor's civil rights for helping falsify an affidavit for the police search of her apartment. This comes just a few days after Sergeant Kyle Meany, who was one of the other two officers charged by the U.S. Department of Justice earlier this month, was terminated from the Louisville Metro Police Department. Mercer County Schools community is mourning the loss of one of its students. The district posting to Facebook Sunday morning says they're deeply saddened by the passing of 8th grader Griffin Baker, a student and baseball player at King Middle School in Harrodsburg. The school says Baker passed away due to injuries suffered in an ATV accident. 
Today begins Commerce Lexington's week-long celebration of local small businesses. And there's a special new deli in town. Yeah, Eddie Brown joins us live right now in downtown Lexington at a new place that all began with one man's love for the Kentucky Wildcats. Hey, Eddie. Lee and Haley, good morning. Well, it is. It's all about his love for the cats. You're finding me here at Big Blue Deli. Now, as I said, it's on the corner of North Limestone and Constitution Street. And you guys, we all share love for the cats here. But, you know, this guy, the owner of Big Blue Deli, he's taking it to the next level. I want you to take a look at this. Look at This is Calipari's face on the window of this deli shop. So you UK fans, y'all are gonna be at home here. I've had the opportunity to talk with the owner and talk about his love for the cats and also taste some of that yummy food. Take a look. It all began with a love for the cats and a need for a lunch spot downtown. So we saw kind of a need for a place that was sold out for UK, uh, a place that people could come, see some old memorabilia, but also have like a common group of people that they're with. Big Blue Deli, which opened just two weeks ago on North Limestone, is wall-to-wall -wall UK memorabilia. Most of the cats-themed decor is from owner Zach Wright's personal collection. He prides himself on having memorabilia from before the Calipari days. He says he's always had the idea to open a UK-themed deli in his head, being a huge fan himself. Uh, I, I've been all over this world and watched cats games in Asia. I've watched them. We watched one in Ireland. Uh, there's not much I want to do to make sure I can watch the cats. But it's not just the decor that's UK themed, the food is too. The deli sandwiches are named after each of UK's basketball championship years and players. And dessert, well, that's a blue and white soft serve ice cream swirl. And you can enjoy your blue and white ice cream cone at Real Rupp Arena bleachers that were in the arena from 1976 to 2019. I sat so many games on these bleachers, like it's a real nostalgic thing for me. And I thought people would understand that and also want to have the same experience. Wright says he wants to create a space where regulars feel welcome, making nameplates for each one. We want to make sure that they know they're welcome here. They always have a seat here. Uh, so we started putting their name. That way they feel like they have a little piece of it as well. And now you guys, Wright tells me he's already had UK players come visit his shop and that business is booming. He's looking forward to that UK football season. And you guys, I'm a Kentucky gal at heart. So when I visited this, it just made me so, so happy. I will definitely be back. Live downtown, I'm Annie Brown. Back to you guys. I do like the little nostalgic touch with the bleachers. I just hear that's so cool. Turned into table. That's I know, that's a such really a good cool idea. idea. Yeah, that's awesome. We got to check that place Thank out. Thank you, Annie. Okay, we're going to have more Good Morning Kentucky coming up straight ahead. Here's our first look at what's coming up today on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, putting the airlines on notice. After a summer of travel chaos, thousands of flights are being cut from the schedule across the major airlines this fall. In a letter sent to the major carriers demanding change, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg calling the summer travel disruptions unacceptable, echoing passengers' frustrations. It's definitely a bummer, especially now that everyone's kind of trying to get back out there, visit friends and family and go on vacation. In October alone, American has nearly 1,200 fewer flights per day than 2019. And fewer flights will cost you. It's going to mean slightly higher prices, unfortunately, for the traveling public because fewer seats. Increased demand, it's a supply and demand model. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll tell you what you need to know if your flight is canceled. With your GMA First Look, I'm Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York. This is the moment for a treatment for moderate to severe eczema. Sabinko, FDA approved. 100% steroid free. Not an injection. Sabinko is a once daily pill for adults who didn't respond to previous treatments. And Sabinko helps provide clearer skin and less itch. Sabinko can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB.
Before and during treatment, your doctor should check for infections and do blood tests. Tell your doctor if you've had hepatitis B or C, have flu-like symptoms, or are prone to infections. Do not take with medicines that prevent blood clots, serious, sometimes fatal infections, lymphoma, lung, skin, and other cancers. Serious heart-related events and blood clots can happen. People 50 and older with heart disease risk factors have an increased risk of serious heart-related events or death with JAK inhibitors. This is the moment, but we've only just begun. Speak with your doctor about Sabinco today. An innovation from Pfizer. The new home for Hank is 105.5 FM. Playing Central Kentucky's classic country hits. If you love country music, you'll love Hank. Make 105.5 Hank FM your new home for the legends of country. I have COPD because I smoked, so I have to pace myself. My tip is, if you're having people over for Thanksgiving, start cooking in October. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. Every 40 seconds, a kid is reported missing. Find the Children provides educational material that teaches your kids how to recognize and avoid predators. Our recovery programs are very successful in bringing kids back home to their family. You can help protect our kids and bring the missing kids home safe by donating your unwanted car, truck, SUV, or van. Running or not, we guarantee you will receive the maximum tax deduction. We provide fast free pickup usually within 24 hours. Over 2,000 kids are reported missing every day. Call now to donate your vehicle. Donate now to bring this kids home safe. Call 800-919-6011. 800-919-6011. 800-919-6011. Watch ABC 36 every Friday night for Chief Meteorologist T.T. Shuck's Bowtie Friday Forecast. Brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shuck. Return, refresh, refuel. Good morning, Kentucky. Meteorologist Dylan Day here with a look at those weather headlines. Some patchy morning fog today. Most areas are dealing with some clear conditions, but here in Lexington especially, we are seeing some dense fog. We will see a few storms possible later on this afternoon. I think most areas stay dry, and that's a signal for a drier and warmer week that we will be seeing here across central and eastern Kentucky. Now, this weekend, I did uh, spend the weekend there in West Virginia for the West Virginia State Fair. Stayed at the Ridgeland Cattle Company uh, there in Greenbrier County. It's a beautiful scene. You can see the mountains there in the distance. I had a, quite an eventful weekend, not only at the fair, but also fed a baby Dylan calf this morning. I did. I Virginia did. spelled wrong. Come on, I bro. Did. I'm even from I'm even from West Virginia, <laughs> and I spelled it wrong. Well, we'll have that right later on. Temperature, uh, excuse me, visibility out there. Down to a quarter mile visibility in Richmond, eight mile visibility in Frankfurt. Me, of all people, would spell that wrong. Here's a live look in Lexington, and you can't see much. That's thanks to the fog out there. It's been the view we've had on our Bluegrass Care Navigator Sky View here in Lexington all morning long. So um, definitely be careful out there on that morning commute, especially if you're in Fayette County or areas north. If you're traveling up I-75 this morning, likely dealing with some foggy conditions north of Lexington as well. 64 right now in Danville, 70 in the London Corbin area, 68 in Moorhead, same goes for Lexington. Max AC radar in satellite showing some shower activity into southeast Kentucky, but outside of that, most of our area is dry with the heaviest of rain is now over into West Virginia, mountains of Virginia and uh, Tennessee, North Carolina as well. We'll see a stray shower storm possible later on today. Most areas stay dry. We'll also be dealing with some fog to start your Tuesday morning, but then really nice day on the way Tuesday. Temperatures will be reaching right around the low 80s once again, and we're only going to be warming up as you head throughout the rest of your week as well. Your Monday's forecast, 82 degrees with a stray shower storm possible towards the afternoon with a northwesterly breeze as well. Tonight, 62 stray storm will also be possible there. Look at that seven-day forecast. So for your Tuesday, Wednesday, two very nice days on the way. Mid-80s for both of those days. Thursday, Friday, we reach the upper 80s. A little bit more cloud cover then, uh, but we're really not talking any major rain chances till later on in the weekend, especially on Sunday. I think we could bump up those rain chances uh, later on this week, so stay tuned for that. A few storms will be possible then, but again, as we've been talking about all week, 
uh, all morning that this week's going to be very dry out there. Yes. Now, didn't you meet the governor of West Virginia this weekend? I did, weekend? and baby dog, his dog. Yes. I fed a cow. I actually have some pictures of that. That's me feeding, oh, yeah, feeding you a, a newborn cat. baby calf right there. Wow. <laughs> Quite the time there in West Virginia, whatever you yes. spelled oh, over there, West right? West Virginia this yeah. time of year. Yeah. You got the West part wrong. right. Congratulations. So you made <laughs> I that did. For, yeah. <laughs> They'll let you come home again if you apologize. Hopefully, sincerely. I might. They might have you know state police lined up at the border next time I try to they go. Yeah, to be like, oh god. Somebody's got to feed that calf though. You and what get is back. my weekend W? Oh, see, I don't even know what's up with me this morning. Wow. It's my, it's a, it was a, a W. You had a late night. You w. had a win of a weekend, and that's what matters. <laughs> that's right. Dylan, it's okay. We'll just re rack and do this again tomorrow. That's right. You I do the weather. I'm not known for my spelling ability. <laughs> oh, well, not, neither are we, so that's no. all right. Okay, um, let's take a look at your morning traffic. Here's a live look outside. Hey, some of that fog starting to dissipate a little bit in some areas. This is a live look at Sales Road and Alexandria Drive. More good morning Kentucky coming up in a moment. Does this hair look like it runs for buses? I bet that hair will run if I treat you to Mickey D's. Yeah, you're right. Like right now, you can get any size iced coffee for just $2. Da -da -ba -ba -ba. As millions flock to the metaverse, many are experiencing unnecessary pain and suffering. Injured? Just dial pound law. That's all. Morgan & Morgan, America, and now the universe's largest injury law firm. Hi, this is Todd with Haas & Haas Real Estate, and I buy houses for cash. If you own a house and want to sell it fast at a fair price, call me at 859-888-1100. I can pay cash and close in as little as 10 days. I buy houses in any condition, any price range, in any location in Fayette and surrounding counties. If you own a house and want to sell it fast, call me today at 859-888-1100. That's 859-888-1100. aren't worth putting off like your car insurance good thing we're here to remind you what will you experience at the kentucky horse park watch live shows and see unique breeds meet racing champions and derby winners explore equine history hop on board and get in the saddle. The gates are open and the horses are waiting. Plan your visit at kyhorsepark.com. Admit it. These days, what you need to know seems to change well, every day. So what can help you feel smarter, better, happier? This is GMA3, what you need to know. Lunchtime at 1 Eastern, 12 Central and Pacific on ABC. Oh, does this hair look like it runs for buses? I bet that hair will run if I treat you to Mickey D's. Yeah, you're right. Like right now, you can get any size iced coffee for just $2. Da -da -ba -ba -ba. Welcome back. We're introducing another new segment today. It's called Monday Morning Quarterback with our very own sports director, Jeff Picard. Yes, uh, there he is. Well, there's a picture of him. Uh, Jeff, he joins us live by phone this morning, uh, and we are hearing all about uh, football, 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 right? And that's right up your alley, of course. What's going on this morning? Well, that's correct. Um, gosh, I, I just... I don't picture Lee as a morning guy like this. He's not. Uh, you've pegged that exactly. He is still asleep right now, Jeff. He is the uh, master sleepwalker. Well, you know, Jeff, I sort of picture you as a late night guy like myself. So what are we doing? Uh, I'm, I'm laying in bed sound asleep. So yeah. whatever I say cannot be held against me. I understand that. Now, let's start with high school football, Jeff. Uh, there are so many talented players in the state of Kentucky. What are we going to see this year? Well, let me tell you something. I went to Frederick Douglass on Friday night, and they are really good, and they are a big team. 
uh, uh, Ty Bryant, who has signed with the University of Kentucky, well, he was pretty darn good. He had a couple of touchdowns in that game, including a 70-yard punt return. So he's one kid to really look for. Uh, Frederick Douglass looks really good, I'll tell you that. Okay, good. Okay, so from high school to the pros, how are the Bengals looking this weekend? Well, the Bengals lost last night, but that's no big deal. Uh, they played really well, and they're playing without their starting quarterback, Joe Burrow. Um, still, he had an emergency appendectomy about three weeks ago, but he is practicing now. They're just going to hold him out until the first game. But, again, there's only one more preseason game, and then they start playing for real as well. So uh, right around the corner is NFL football, and, and I really think the Bengals are going to have a, a super year this year and could possibly go back to the Super Bowl. They're that good. Yeah, the oh. thing is, though, they got to deal with expectations. Yeah. Unlike last year, you know, it was just this joy ride because nobody thought the Bengals could do what they did. Uh, you're exactly right. I mean, they're going to be playing this year with the target on their back. So, it, and the key this year is can they protect Burrow? If their offensive line can hang in there and protect him, then they've got a great chance of going deep. But um, it's really hard to get to the Super Bowl, but they've got a, a, a just a, a really nice team. So, that's going to be. Uh, it's going to be a fun year. And then finally, Jeff, uh, you know, probably the most anticipated season I can remember in a long time for our beloved Kentucky Wildcats. Give us your thoughts. <laughs> I think the same thing there. If they can protect Will Levis, then it's going to be a great season. Um, seriously, it's, uh, the, the expectations I don't think have ever been higher than they are right now. Uh, but that's because Mark Stutz and Vince Murrow and, and the rest of that coaching staff have done such a great job of recruiting. I am so looking forward to this year. I mean, they, we even had a, 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 a guy from SEC Network that said they're going to be 11-1 and one this year mm-hmm. and they're going to beat Georgia. Yeah. So if that Ooh. happens, I mean, that's... That would be amazing for me, but it's going to be a fun season. But somehow they lose to Haley's Tennessee Volunteers. I don't understand that. You beat Georgia but lose to Tennessee. I I, I don't understand that either. Um, I, they have, to me, it all comes down to that game because that, when, when I played, Tennessee was our rival. Now it's kind of become Louisville, but I really think they have to get back to, to being Tennessee as the rival because they're in our conference. And to be successful and, and to get to that next level up the, up, up the ladder in the SEC, I think they have to consistently beat Tennessee, and it's something they haven't done in, in 30 or 40 years. Oh, I'm just so excited. Even just the intro for this new Monday morning quarterback segment with just the football music. I'm so pumped for all kinds of football this season. Jeff, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Jeff Picaro, of course, ABC 36's new sports director. Excited to have him with us this morning. Jeff, honey, you can go back to sleep now, okay? Good night. Okay, perfect. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, it is uh, 6.51, and up next, we'll take a look at the upcoming midterm elections in our national view. That's right. Stick around. Good morning, Kentucky with Lee and Haley. We'll be right back. Stay with us. You're invited to come be our guest this Sunday at Southland. For service times and campus locations, head over to our website at southland.church. Dear Diary, today we spent the day at the Kentucky Horse Park. There are so many different type of horses. The biggest horse that i ever seen was around in a trolley. Even the cops rode on horses. I met a Kentucky Derby winner and his name was Funny Side. He was my favorite. Who knows they had all these shiny trophies? They gave me a big horse to ride. It was awesome. I can't wait to go back. What will you experience at the Kentucky Horse Park? Four days only at Ashley's Labor Day Early Access Sale. Buy one, get one half off. Plus, get 0% interest for 12 months. That's right. Buy this queen bed and get the dresser half off. In store Friday through Monday only at Ashley. It's Keno Night, and you got this. And you've got 37 ways to win a top prize of $100,000. Keno, from the Kentucky Lottery, you got this. With a new Toyota, you can practically make summer stand still. From making a splash in a Highlander to fitting in more fun in a Camry or tackling a trailhead in a RAV4 hybrid. Who's a good boy? Enjoy the last of summer in an exciting new Toyota during Toyota's national sales event. Save big on America's best-selling car, Toyota Camry. Like this electrified Camry hybrid with fuel savings over $5,700. Save even more with 1.9 APR financing. Come in today. Toyota. Let's go places. 
Oh, boy. What? We better get out of here. That clown is about to hit a water line. He didn't contact 811 to mark the underground utilities. Nope. You saw that coming. Too bad he didn't. Know what's below. 811, before you dig. Don't miss Ashley's Labor Day early access sale. In store Friday through Monday only. Buy one, get one half off. Or get 0% interest for five years with no money down. Friday through Monday only at Ashley. We're all, as a world, going through something right now. Gotta get a real song. It's been challenging. We got but you know what? Keep marching on. Good morning, sunshine. A challenge we face today, a brighter tomorrow. Here's a look at your second lottery scratch of forecast. Today, 82 degrees with a stray shower storm or two possible. 84 for Tuesday, up to the mid 80s there on Wednesday, 85 degrees. Thanks for staying with us. It is 654. Yes. Okay, with the midterm elections just around the corner, some new polling data released shows Democratic candidates are rapidly gaining ground in key races across the country. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell now getting backlash for many Democrats may be able to hold on to the Senate. Yes, this comes as a new poll shows voters are concerned about threats to democracy even more than the economy. ABC's M. Wynn has what we can expect for the midterms from Washington. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell tamping down expectations that his party can win back both the House and Senate in the fast approaching midterms. There's a, probably a greater likelihood the House flips than the Senate. Senate races are just different. They're statewide. Uh, candidate quality has a lot to do with the outcome. Former President Trump calling the Republican leader a broken-down hack over his election prediction. He and most Republicans criticizing the country's record-high inflation under the Biden administration, hoping for a red wave. But after several legislative wins, including a sweeping tax and climate bill signed into law last week, Democrats say the political winds are shifting. We've been counted out for a while now, but we are having a comeback. From Texas to Ohio to Pennsylvania, polls are backing up that argument. Everywhere you look these days, there's a poll showing a Democrat tied or even ahead in states they were expected to lose. Top of voters' minds, according to a new NBC poll. Threats to democracy at 21 percent, ahead of cost of living at 16 percent. According to the survey, 57 percent of voters also say investigations into the alleged wrongdoing by Trump should continue. President Biden's approval rating, however, sticking to a low 42 percent, though his handling of the economy did go up by seven points from May. This comes as a federal appeals court temporarily stopped a ruling mandating Senator Lindsey Graham testify in the investigation into pro-Trump efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington. Anna, can you count to five without saying one or three? Sure, two, four, five. <laughs> That's right. Our big story is the two for five breakfast deal at Hardee's. You got me. I know, I did. Bite into our made-from-scratch biscuits today. Most people uh, agree that they want to minimize taxes. We need to understand how the IRS looks at our money. We have four different buckets of money. And bucket one, when we make money, causes a tax. Bucket two is pre-tax. Bucket three and bucket four are both tax-free. Sit down with us for a complimentary session, and let's talk about how this could apply to you. Fur, you won't phase me. Unlike Zyrtec, Allegra won't make me drowsy. Allegra starts working two times faster than Claritin. So take Allegra before allergy symptoms take over you. And new Allegra Hives works from the inside to relieve itching and reduce hives for 24 hours. Is that our luggage rack? I fixed that thing. <laughs> Gorilla tape. Of course. Double thick adhesive with a rugged outer shell for a hold that lasts. For the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Come and 
see what you can discover at the last genuine leather company. Hands. You might think they're just for waving, but they can be used for all kinds of things, like making made-from-scratch biscuits at Hardee's. Bite into the new two-for-five-dollar breakfast deal only at Hardee's. Here's a quick look at your Monday forecast before you head out the door this morning. 82 will be the high temperature with a stray shower storm possible towards the afternoon hours. But I think most areas uh, stay dry with a northwesterly breeze. Tonight, 62. Stray storm also possible mainly early, and that's going to give way to some patchy fog developing uh, with a northwesterly breeze continuing. Look at that seven-day forecast. Beautiful conditions on the way through the midweek, even late in the week. You do see those dew points rising. going to be a little hot and humid Thursday and a Friday, and that'll fuel some showers and some thunderstorms by the time the weekend rolls around. I think most areas stay dry, though, on Saturday. More of that rain chance as you head into Sunday. But overall, pretty calm forecast this week. That's wonderful. Dylan, yeah, I think good. we survived this first new show. We I'm did. Okay. Can you believe it? Congratulations, buddy. <laughs> you did it. Thank you. You did it. You guys did it, too. Thank you so much for trying us out this morning. We hope you'll join us all week long. Stay up to date all day long on WTVQ.com. And then come back here for GDK at 9. We and Haley show at 4 p.m. And then we'll see you tomorrow morning. Yep. We're everywhere. Have a great day. GMA Sorry is coming about up that. right now. Okay.